To take pressure off a painful strained AC joint, yes it's important to release the pec minor and to strengthen the muscles that pull the shoulder blade back and down, but a lot of people forget the importance of the sternoclavicular joint. If the sternoclavicular joint is restricted, the AC joint will continually restrain. So here's the solution. If your shoulder blade tilts too far forward and around your body, it puts extra torsion on the acromioclavicular joint, the joint between your collarbone and your shoulder blade. Over time, the joint becomes overstretched, hypermobile and inflamed, and will end up being painful on movements like shoulder press, bench press, dips, or movements across your body. If it's bad enough, it'll even start to click and pop. Now there's lots of tests to diagnose AC joint strain, but to be quite honest, they're unreliable. The best for me to diagnose it is to press right on the joint and see if it's painful. Now the joint is right where the collarbone meets the acromion process of the shoulder blade. If you press right on that point and it's tender, very tender in a localized spot, that's AC joint inflammation. One thing a lot of people comment about is pain while lying on that side. And this is the clue. It always seems to end up happening on the side that we tend to lie on more. What can happen when we lie on the side is our shoulder can end up scrunched forward. And this will shorten the pec minor for sure, but more importantly, it can also jam up the joint on the other end of the collarbone, the sternoclavicular joint. If your sternoclavicular joint becomes restricted, your acromioclavicular joint ends up moving much more to compensate and it becomes hypermobile and strained. If you want your AC joint to heal, you've got to free up your AC joint. Unfortunately, it's quite easy, so I'm going to show you two exercises to release the SC joint. One way to adjust your habits, your sleeping habits, so that you don't scrunch forward on that shoulder so much. A way to release your pec minor, and an exercise to strengthen and activate the muscles that hold your shoulder blade back and down in a position that's better for your AC joint. Let's start by freeing up the SC joint. If this joint gets jammed up when the shoulder is scrunched forward, we need to stretch it the other way. So, sitting, legs crossed, reach right around behind you on the side of the painful AC joint, place your hand on the ground and stretch around. But keep your chest bone, your sternum, elevated. Hold this for five seconds and repeat three to five times. You may even hear a click in your SC joint or your sternomanubial joint, which is in the middle of your breastbone. That's okay, it's just starting to move more. If you do that every day for a week or so, that's often enough to notice an improvement. In more severe or chronic cases, you may need to do a second technique too. In practice, I mobilize the SC joint with my hands. That's actually the way I test for restrictions in the sternoclavicular joint too. But you can do something similar with a tennis ball. Look for a corner, put the opposite foot forward and place the tennis ball right over the bony lump at the end of the clavicle, just above where it joins onto the breastbone. Then gently bounce against the medial end of the collarbone with the ball for 30 seconds and do that once a day for a week. This will mobilize the sternoclavicular joint. Just be sure not to do it if it's painful during or afterwards. Sleeping position. The key to avoid lying in a position which scrunches up your shoulder is your leg position when lying on your side. If you bend your top knee more than your bottom one, it'll drag you forward into a poor position for your shoulder. If you straighten your top leg more than your bottom one, this will move you back and take pressure off your shoulder. If you keep correcting this position again and again, you'll eventually change your sleeping habits, even when you're asleep. Pec release. To release a knotted up pec minor that's pulling your shoulder blade into a position that puts more pressure on your AC joint, Press on the pec minor right here in the dip between your shoulder and rib cage. If it's really tender in that spot, put a tennis ball over that point and lean against a wall in a corner like this. Hold this for a minute on the affected side 
each day until the tenderness in that muscle goes away. Scapular position and movement. If you strengthen and activate the muscle combination of the serratus anterior and lower trapezius, this will improve your scapular position and reduce the pressure on your AC joint. Here's how to do that. On your hands and knees, push your body as far away from the floor as you can to protract the shoulder blades. Then slowly lower back towards your feet and up again, but as you move back and up again, concentrate on two things. One, use your lower trapezius to keep your shoulders depressed. And two, maintain shoulder blade protraction the whole time by pushing with the heels of your hands. Do 10 of these once a day. For a more detailed explanation of this complicated exercise, go to my video on protecting your shoulders in the description below this video. If your shoulders hurt at some point as you're moving back, stop at that point and then just slowly move back up again. To end, lower your torso back down towards the floor to the starting point again. Just note that if you damage your AC joint on a fall onto an outstretched arm, like in a bike accident, that's more of a traumatic cause of AC joint strain, in which case you probably don't have an SC joint restriction. So you don't need to do the exercises to release the sternoclavicular joint, just do the other exercises. But that's it for today. Hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, write a little comment, consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.